You guys understand the box? Yeah. Four corners? Who's, who's, who's on offense right now? So I want to have a man here, a man there, a man here, and a man there. Let's get into a box. Me and some of my friends, we were gym rats and always wanted to play ball. When you're an Asian kid and you're playing hoops, you don't, you don't always you don't always pick first, right? So it's kind of nice when you can show up, show some things. After the, the, the whole Jeremy Lin thing, they did a doc, uh, like a five minute piece on Asian American uh, basketball uh, perspectives. And Sam was featured in it. My first stint of coaching was actually back when I was in my early, early, early 20s. I just liked doing that type of thing. And actually here in Chinatown, the local YMCA at the time, it was very ghetto. Actually, I'll show you outside here where the Y used to be. It's gone now, but the, the court, you can see the, on the floor, I think the courts are still there. It used to be called the bubble. It required hot air being blown into it to keep it full. And they had a, the first Chinatown Basketball League. They were looking for coaches, so I'm like, sign me up. And all my friends are like, you still coaching? I'm like, yeah. You know? And I, and again, I, I love it. I love coaching. But every once in a while, you know, I would like a little time to myself. I'm hoping we actually have some of the older kids to come down because they already know some of the stuff. When COVID hit, we, we got, we got really got kind of screwed. A lot of the older kids, the kids that I was really focused on, we could never, we went to like one or two tournaments and that was it. That's your mom's name? I spell mm -hmm. her last name, right? Yeah. I know. Okay, stand right here. Uh -oh. What? Okay. <laughs> I'll help out. The word was I help out. That was about like seven, yeah, seven years ago. When I came on board, I always told me, I'm like, I want to bring it back into the city. You know, all the kids I grew up with, inner city kids. So the model back when I grew up, our team was 80, 90 percent city kids, and there would be a few suburban kids that played with. Now it's the exact opposite, and the kids are great. Just it's not as much as I love them. It's not the kids I want. I really want to bring it back into Chinatown because they don't have all these competing resources. Obviously, we could have just kept it in the suburban area. We could have kept it. But Chinatown is the staple of the Asian Chinese community, and we should keep it there. Club was formed in 70, I probably joined in 72. When I found out what Sammy was doing and what May was trying to start up again, I'm all for that, you know. Who's in the blue team? Okay, here's the ball. I joined the Hurricanes in 1988. He was a player. I was a player. Sammy was my basketball coach. Uh, my nickname, Dino. Um, <clears throat> has something to do with a, a certain wrestler back in the day who was a, the self-proclaimed world's strongest man. So it was more an irony thing. I was just this little skinny, scrawny kid lifting weights. Because of my last name, and cheddar cheese, kind of is a natural fit. So cheese has been here since I've joined the club in 1972. Who are you guarding? Oh. So who you got him? I'll, I'll guard him. All right, hey, right. this is bullying, bullying, isn't it? All right, so he's bigger and slower, right? Take him to the hoop. Come on, Kobe B. Let's go. Aiden, don't let him do that to you. So I'm 50 years old right now, and um, I've seen how it has come a long way now. Before, you would never see any, any Asian kids playing ball unless you met the, the, the wing war, the hurricanes. But originally, we weren't called the Boston Hurricanes. The Boston merchants in Chinatown wanted to create uh, an athletic organization. So the, on Leong, the merchants, which are uh, basically up and down the east and west coast, uh, we became uh, Wing War under them to play sports. Wing War was basically a name that was derived from the Chinese merchants in different cities. So you had Boston, you had Chicago, you had uh, Washington. They would form the Wing War tournament and then they would gather the kids and then they, they would host this uh, the, 
the tournament in one of the cities. And the prize was actually to uh, send the winning team uh, over to China and they would play there. In the 80s, they went through a rebranding. The merchants weren't involved with this anymore. And so they came up with the name the Boston Arcades. I remember asking my dad, like, what is a Chinese translation? And I remember, you know, my dad was good with the uh, calligraphy. And so it was like a Dai Feng, like, big win. <laughs> Man, I'm only seven and a half. Hold on. How long have you been in Hurricanes? Two, three years. You must be here now. I've been a lot about you. She likes playing with a watch on. Wait, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When you're younger, you go to a tournament, you're a kid, you eat to a room. How can you not? Like get close when you know you travel. I remember going to uh, Toronto. We drove eight hours or whatever. We drove because like, we're kids. So we, you know, we do these stupid things. <laughs> we it's because we had no money. Jeff, I, you know, I was a kid, not a kid, but I mean, he was a few years older. I remember being invited to their weddings. So you know, for a younger guy, that was it gave you a lot of juice. Sam remember, remembers being. Like, 14 years old, we get him into a nightclub and, you know, just like, hey, you know, what do you think? But he had a good time, he and his buddies, and eventually he did that. Well, recently, when my, my mom passed away, I mean, they, you know, all the guys show up, you know, they, they, even during the, the year, year and a half, while I was at home taking care of her, they'd all come by, you know, hey, you need a break, come on, have a drink, whatever. You know, so we're, we're like brothers, you know, or cousins or whatever, you know, some of us are like brothers, some of us are cousins, some of us hate each other. So, you know, it's just that, that, that you know, that bonding. There's a lot of non-Asian that wants to join. Uh, we let them participate in the clinics that we run, but they do understand they cannot participate in the traveling team or any of the tournament that has criteria that you have to be Asian. My daughter. She'll ask questions. Isn't that, that kind of against the law, Dad? That having just only Chinese kids playing together and you have to be Chinese? But I explained to her. I said, yes and no. Has anybody asked this outside? Like when I'm when I'm coaching? No. People think it's kind of unique. They're like, oh wow, these kids can play. And then I said to myself, why are you surprised? It's important for us to uh, not kind of pigeonhole us ourselves just as. Um, Asian, Chinese, American. but I think there's there's just basically cultural similar similarities where you don't have to explain yourself. If you said, "All right, our team is going to go have dim sum," that's not disenfranchising anyone that doesn't know what dim sum is, and everybody's just comfortable with it. And if you're in the workplace and you say, "Oh, this guy have dim sum," you're gonna, I, I would say, probably half are saying, well, I've never had it. Can you explain that to me? And then, then that becomes more of an experience where you're explaining things and you, you have to give background to, which is totally different than just like, just sitting down and just knowing that this is your home. Again. I actually don't care if there's a mix of non asian I have a philosophy where when, if you get to a certain level of competition to keep that level high in the gym you know you may not be able to get it just from your own community Call it. Dad. recently i've come back because my nephew was at was at that age where he was playing basketball, he wanted to play, and so I wanted to bring him up. I wanted him to have that, the same experiences that I had. My uncle is the head coach, Sam Moy, and I was brought into this organization when I was 11 or 12 years old. I've played basketball since I was maybe six years old. Um, looking at hurricanes, I wanted to be around people that looked like me and have the same interest. I don't think people realize what it does to keep a community together. Like there's always groups like this in every community, whether it's Asian, black, white, 
is always the step of the group. And it, growing up, you never realized how important it was for these volunteers who took the time to be part of your life. If we don't continue it, it's going to be lost. And then these kids are going to go be wandering. They, not, they don't have the opportunity that we grew up with. And we want them to have the same opportunity, you know, and be able to uh, continue and hopefully carry this on. This is Coach Josh, Coach Steve, Coach Corey, raising it. I've been working in the same system since I was younger, so I understand how everything works. We work on like dribble, pull ups, and the shots. There's a few uh, really good kids, and there's kids improving as well. Scoring is an attitude. So I'm getting him right now to score. I don't want him to just shoot the ball. He's going to say, I'm going to make a difference, I'm going to score the ball. So you got shooting the ball, which is mental, and then scoring the ball. Okay? Let's go, do it again. All day long. You and you, my way. All day long. Shoot that ball, shoot that ball. Be a shooter. Good. Rebound. Hey, you got blocked. Bobby! Everyone's a shooter. Everybody's a shooter. Don't throw it. I want you to shoot it. Yeah, tell me mama, are we there yet? Mama, are we there yet? Tell me mama, are we there yet? Mama, are we there yet? Tell me mama, are we there yet? Mama,